Hello everybody, Gibbs Mac here, and today I'm going to be talking about Battlefield Hardline, and will the Deluxe Edition be overpowered, and will it have a pay-to-win system with it? Now, I saw this on the Battle Log forums, which I'll leave the link to that post in the, in the description, but I saw this, and I thought it was kind of interesting, and I want to uh, talk about it and get your thoughts on this. So if you don't know, the Deluxe Edition is a version of Battlefield Hardline, that you can get it's ten more dollars so it's seventy dollars instead of the sixty dollars that you would pay normally for battlefield hardline you know on release it's seventy dollars and what it gives you is it gives you the game and it also gives you the versatility battle pack the precision battle pack and the suppression battle pack it also gives you 10 gold battle packs from launch now what these versatility precision and suppression battle packs do is they'll give you a they'll give you an assault rifle and they'll each give you a unique camo skin and an XP boost. So the versatility battle pack features a highly versatile assault rifle, a unique camo skin for your weapons and an XP boost. The precision battle pack has one of the most accurate assault rifles and a unique camo for your weapons and an XP boost. And the suppression battle pack features an assault rifle with the largest magazine capacity with it and a unique camo skin for all your weapons and an XP boost. Now we don't know what these will give you. I mean, they could be something very overpowered, but from what people have been saying is that what this will do, and this is not confirmed, but what a lot of people have been speculating, is that it will just give you the weapon that it will come with, it, and it will just give you the weapon from the start, but you can get the weapon later on. So we don't know what weapons these are, but I'll be going into that later on and on the forums Thaddy Assassin who is the lead multiplayer designer on Battlefield Hardline I've talked about him before he replied with I will confirm we have 0% desire to create an imbalanced playing field now Thaddy Assassin did not clarify if this was uh, something that you unlock early on or is this something that you unlock uh, you know, is it exclusive to deluxe edition because if it's exclusive to the Deluxe Edition, even if you don't pre-order it, they'll probably have it where you could buy it later on for like 10 or $15. You know, it's it's probably going to be something like that. If it's anything like Battlefield 4 or even past Battlefield games, they'll probably have where you can buy every single weapon in the game from the get-go. I mean, it'll cost quite a bit of money, but you can do that in Battlefield 4. You can also buy Battle Packs in Battlefield Force. Now, of course, it could be overpowered at the very beginning of the game. Since it has been rumored that the starting weapons will be like the M16A3 and the AKM, uh, which is most likely what will happen, uh, you, it's probably not going to be that overpowered. Now, I went through all of the assault rifles, or at least the weapons that the operator has, in Battlefield Hardline, and I'll leave a link in the description to all the weapons, like a video that the Russian Badger made, and he has all the weapons in there from a closed beta. Uh, of course, they may add new weapons. I mean, if these are exclusive, then they may not, not they may not know about these weapons. But from the weapons that I've seen, is the suppression battle pack will feature the the Car 556. Now, the Car 556 is basically the H21 CQB Battlefield 4. I th I, th I think that's pretty cool. It does have 40 rounds, so it's a pretty it's probably gonna be a good weapon. Um, now, the first utility battle pack, I believe, will be the ACWR, just because the description of it uh, says something like the best versatile weapon or something versatile in it, and the ACWR stands for Adaptive Combat Rifle, so that kind of makes sense uh, that that is a versatile weapon. Now, now for the Precision Battle Pack, I don't know what this could be. This could be the M16A3, because that has the highest accuracy stat. The only problem with that is that the ACW is that the M16A3 will probably be one of the first weapons that you unlock. Uh, so I don't think that you'll really unlock it, you know, you know, because if this is something that's an early unlock, then it'll probably be something later on, uh, just so you can actually have an incentive to uh, go buy the Deluxe Edition. So I was thinking either it could be the L85A2 or the G36C. Uh, we don't know that confirmed, but the L85A2 and the G36C just seemed like weapons that would be very accurate. And you also get 10 gold battle packs. I mean, that's not very really overpowered in my opinion. Uh, so, let me know in the comments. Do you think that this is overpowered? Do you think that uh, the, the, the that if you do have the Deluxe Edition, you're going to be at a very high advantage? I mean, maybe at the start of the game. You know, you could probably, uh, you know, do some... You probably do very good at the start of the game. But like I said, you could buy pretty much every weapon. 
Now, if this is a way where you can't get these weapons otherwise, so if you buy the if you buy the deluxe edition, then you can't get the other you can't get the deluxe edition weapons any other way. Then I do think that would be kind of overpowered. I mean, a high reversible assault rifle, the most accurate assault rifle, uh, the largest magazine for an assault rifle. Those are pretty good weapons, and they seem like pretty good weapons. Uh, you know, like the Car 556, that's going to be a very good weapon, if that is, you know, the weapon that they choose. Uh, the ACWR, that's one of my favorite weapons in Battlefield 4, and it'll probably be a good weapon in Battlefield Hardline. Uh, they'll probably clarify what this, what the Deluxe Edition means uh, later on, uh, you know, whether that's Thaddeus Sasser or uh, somebody, you know, somebody at EA or... Uh, they make an announcement on the battle log. At least we know that Daddy Assassin did reply to this thread on the forum, so we do know that he at least uh, knows what the Deluxe Edition is. Uh, of course he does know because he's at Visceral, but I don't think it will be too overpowered. And I believe they did something like this for Bad Company 2 where you could get like a Deluxe Edition. Uh, you got some weapons that you could get later on, but you could still get, you could still get those weapons. So, say, so in Battlefield 4 terms, I think this will be something like uh, say, say you get Battlefield 4, and say whenever you start it up, you could have the H20, you could have the H21 automatically unlocked. You don't have to do anything; you could just have it. Or you could have the CZ805 or the M16A4 or uh, any any weapon like that. You could have those from the very start of the game. That's what I feel like this will be in Battlefield Hardline, but let me know in the comments if you think that this will be overpowered. So hope you enjoy. Feedback is always appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video.